Hello, it is Friday, December 29th, 2023. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. Hope you enjoyed yesterday's replacement puzzle, the um, solve of a quick cryptic puzzle from The Times, The Times of London. Um, let me know if you'd like me to do more of those, and if you'd like me to, uh, I don't know, modulate how I, the, the degree to which I explain the clues. I might I might uh, do a bit less explanation if I solve more of those in the future. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. We're back to the New York Times today. And this uh, Friday themeless edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Casey Brandt, Michael, Aaron Spiller, and as always, the indomitable Shulmaster and the incredible Horan family. Um, they are benefactors of the Patreon campaign, which means they directly support this channel and keep this whole series going. For that, I'm very grateful. Thank you to them. Thank you to everybody who's a patron of the channel. I really do appreciate it. And if you'd like to contribute in that same way, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field. And there you'll find all of the bonus videos available to patrons. And uh, that should soon also include this week's mini puzzle pseudo speed solve, which I'll have to solve um, today or as soon as I can. So look forward to that. There's also the official mug for benefactors. Uh, thanks again to all of the backers. And thanks if you've liked these videos, subscribed to the channel, commented. Those things are all appreciated and helpful, so do consider them. And finally, there's the Daily Solve Discord chat server, which can be joined via a description field link. It's a nice friendly chat community over there, so do consider joining up. It's free, of course. And with that all said, let's get on to today's puzzle by Robin Weintraub, um, affectionately often known as the queen of the Friday. She is very much associated with themeless Friday puzzles and tends to have a very um, Friday-appropriate, punny, slightly misdirecting, and uh, cheeky sort of tone to her puzzles. So let's find out. She's responsible for nearly 50 puzzles for the New York Times, and it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving. Has balance issues. So the first thing that you might think when you see this, obviously, is someone has balance issues in the sense that they are unsteady or they can't physically balance. But uh, especially given it's a Friday, I wonder if this has to do with one's bank balance, one's, one owes money, perhaps. I'm not certain this is the case, but let's just put it in and see. Florida's blank national forest. Oh, this vaguely, this is vaguely familiar to me. Is it Ocala, maybe? I'm not sure. Just eked it out. A one by a nose? Yes. I bet that's the answer. That makes me think O's is probably correct. Hence, ergo simply means therefore. Cold War aggressions? Question mark. Right. So this has a question mark, meaning uh, there's some kind of pun here. So we're not referring to a Cold War in the sense of a uh, sort of mounting strategic rivalry, but, uh, but rather a snowball fight, perhaps. Yeah, that, no, 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 that doesn't fit. Snowball fight doesn't fit. I put in flight for some reason. Fight is too short. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, wait, but it says aggressions plural. So maybe it is snowball fights. There we go. Good. I'm pleased if that's if that's correct. So literally, obviously, a war that is fought with cold ammunition in this case. Uh, contempt scorn is, is an example of contempt. Sierra follower Sierra Tango, right? This is in the international radio alphabet, the NATO alphabet. So Sierra for S, Tango for T. So T follows S in the alphabet. Okay, this may well be Ocala after all. What one might hope for in a tight spot elbow room, so maybe on an aircraft, I can certainly uh, attest <laughs> over the last several days. It is nice to have a bit of elbow room, but not always possible. Um, a melange is a stew, a mixture, and an approach is, so this is not, right, so the reason I said an approach is because when I first read this before I even had a chance to read it, I thought uh, to approach someone, to come up to them, but in fact it is an approach, it's a way, a road, something like that. And then Florida's blank national forest, it is Ocala. Okay, I knew I recognized that for a reason. I don't even know that I recognize it from the national forest. I think I might just recognize it from a city name or, or, or some other place name, but there we go. It was the answer. Signal for a change in direction. Okay, now this I'm not sure of offhand. Signal for a change in direction, question mark. So what kind of direction could this be that isn't the obvious one? 
being directed in a film or a play or um, maybe direction the way that you are leading your life? I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Raspberry relative. Um, could be a raspberry, the food, the fruit or the berry, the droop, I guess. Um, could be blowing a raspberry, a sort of way of making fun of somebody. Is there a there another term for a way to taunt somebody? I'm not sure. Pricey bars, gold ingots, maybe. There we go. So does that help with this single for a change in signal for a change in direction? A bat, a bot, what? Bet? Bit? <laughs> I'm just saying all the possible words. I can't think why. Obviously, one of them is the case. I just can't think what it is. Flying blank. If one's flying solo, one's going it alone. Actress Ray, who, who played President Barbie in Barbie. Right, this is Issa Ray, which, um, I mean, I would have assumed this based on Ray because I, I know her from having created and, and starred in the show Insecure, which I really liked. But I also watched Barbie on the plane the other day. So now I know the answer to this. Help on the campaign trail. Help out on the campaign trail. I don't know. Consent from a mate. I, I mean, that's a positive response. I'm not sure why that would be the answer. Consent from a mate. Ah, I'm, I'm, I'm slowing down suddenly. Seriously, I guess I'm the only remaining holdout then. Nobody else? No one else? I'm not really sure this is the answer. I'm just taking a guess. Let's see. Help out on the campaign trail. I don't know. I'm not sure this is right. Consent from a mate. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, we'll keep going. Soapstone mineral. I don't know. Talc, maybe? Attire for many a Degas subject. Keep blank. Keep at it, maybe? I'm just thinking that it might start with A because of talc. Let's try it now that I have one possible cross. Geometric points, right, loci, so um, plural of locus, so kind of, I don't know, central point, effectively, I guess. Uh, Cuba Libre ingredient, cola, maybe? I haven't had it, boy, I probably only had a Cuba Libre once or twice in my life. Um, pie accompaniment. Qu oh, question mark, though, of course. Hi, accompaniment, question mark. Not sure. Oh, actually, no, this doesn't look good. Just noticed that. What is this? Tacky item in a kindergarten classroom. Oh, glow stick, <laughs> right. Okay, it's tacky, not in the sense of being sort of unfashionable or, I don't know, gauche, but rather because it is literally tacky. It has a tacky kind of texture, glow stick. Uh, or sorry, glue stick. Glue stick is what I meant, not, not a glow stick. A, a glow stick might be a tacky thing to have a, in a kindergarten classroom, but it wouldn't be tacky in this way. Um, it would, uh, so yes, a glue stick has that, has that, you know, tacky, stringy sort of texture and it, and it adheres to things. It's sort of, you know, in the sense of tack. Help out on the campaign trail. I still don't see what the... Oh, no, stumps. Uh, help out on the campaign trail. Stump. Something to do with stump speeches. Not sure. Tour group in brief. Signal for a change in direction, right? I still don't know what that is. Seriously, I guess I'm the only remaining holdout then. Not. No. Oh, not you too? Is it... Is... Are you... Is this fictional person addressing the, the last person who's leaving? They must be. They say, well, I guess I'm the only remaining holdout. There must have only been one person left who's now departed, or everyone else is departing all at once. But either way, this person is saying, not you too. You're the, the last one or last ones to go. Okay, that must be the answer. So oh, this was I. Consent from a mate. I. Oh, a shipmate. A shipmate. Right. Okay. Very good. Very good. Got me on that one. Oh, uh, Tutu, Degas did paint ballerinas. Yes. 
I can now picture this in my mind now that I see enough of it. All right, well, there we go. That's the answer to that. Oh, and this is Coke rather than cola. Okay, fair enough. All right, pie, a comp- oh, cutie pie, the phrase cutie pie. So not something you'd eat with pie. I was thinking about this the wrong way. I was trying to think of, um, I don't know, other kinds of pies, meat pies or something, other things that might accompany them. But no, it was accompanying in a linguistic sense. So what word goes with pie, cutie pie? Trashy television character. That would be clearly Oscar the Grouch from Sesame Street, who lives literally in a trash can of rubbish bin. And then tour group in brief. Oh, PGA, the PGA Tour, the Professional Golfers Association. There we go. Okay, theater cat in Cats. Ooh, I don't remember. I, I did see Cats when I was very young, but I don't remember. Okay, descendants of Abraham and Ishmael. Ahabs? Descendant. No, that doesn't make any sense. Arabs. Sorry. It's not. It's not. I was, I was trying to think of a name because so often when you see... Um, uh, when you see, you know, biblical characters in in, a, in the Bible, you then think, oh, well, it'll be another person's name. But no, this means, and I, but I was thinking it's weird that it's pluralized. Uh, no, this is referring to uh, Arabs as a, as a, as a group as, of descendants. Okay. Raspberry relative Ruby is in raspberry red, Ruby red, maybe. Is there another reason that's a relative? I'm guessing it's because of the color in this case. Oh, signal for a change in direction. I think but might have been the only vowel possibility I didn't say when I was saying bat, bet, bit, bot. Yeah, I think but was literally the only one I didn't say. So you're changing direction because you're changing the sort of, you know, valence of of your argument or something. You're saying, well, this is the case, but maybe actually this, I'm changing the direction rhetorically. So, okay, yes, so this is Ruby... Blank Planet Travel Guidebook Series, Lonely Planet. I know that they make travel guidebooks. Like secular concerns would be laic, so laic rather than of the clergy, so um, not sort of church affiliated. Um, Many a coral sea island, an atoll, there we go. Miranda, who played Eowyn in The Lord of the Rings. Ooh, not sure offhand. I'm not even sure who that character is, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm not sure. For real, it's it's a hmm. This could be auto, I suppose. Word on a common bumper sticker. Oh, coexist is that bumper sticker with the various different religious um, symbols that spell out coexist. Okay, enjoy enjoy a spa day, say. To relax would be to do that. For real. Oh, it's a... All right, that was the bit I already inferred. I still don't have an answer. For real, it's a... I don't know why I can't see that. Member of the family, uh, Viparide. I, I'm guessing an asp. I mean, presumably, this is, this is related to the word viper, so I assume this will be an asp, snake. It's for real. It's a fake. It would be the opposite of that. Oh, it's a fact. There we go. Of course. There we go. Foil to Mark Antony in Juli- Julius Caesar. Um, foil to Mark Antony in Julius Caesar. I can't. I can't think. Octavius. Something in a gondola's forcola. Right. What is the forcola? Which bit is that? Oh, is that where the ore goes, maybe? A little sort of holder for the ore? Help out on the campaign trail. A stump car? I have no idea what this is. Theater cat and cats, right? Don't know that. It's not long, period. That's interesting. Oh, it's not longitude. <laughs> I was wondering what the period was doing there, what the full stop was doing there. It's because it's an abbreviation, because these aren't sentences. You know, we don't, we wouldn't ordinarily need to punctuate the end of these unless it's a question mark or something that actually changes the the meaning. Uh, but a period doesn't change the meaning. So in this case, it's abbreviating longitude to long. Uh, so latitude would be the other 
corresponding sort of counterpart to that on a, on a map or something, globe. Okay, theme of Adele's Someone Like You. I don't think I know this song, but it looks like it lost love. I mean, there's a bit of a stab on that. I don't actually know, but but it just it, it's a pretty normal subject for a song, so it may well be. Oh, to help out on the campaign trail is to stump for somebody. To stump for a candidate in, in sort of U.S. political jargon would be to go out and, and kind of speak or rally on their behalf. Okay, there we go. So part of Cruella de Vil's getup is a fur coat from um, 101 Dalmatians, which was, uh, I think, probably pretty much my favorite movie when I was very, very young. Okay, Theater Cat in Cats, Gus. Okay, that's that's sort of familiar now that I see it. Wouldn't have wouldn't have thought of it, but got the crosses, so that's okay. Commit a fashion faux pas would be to clash with your colors, perhaps. And then mists are hazes. Acts exceedingly friendly oozes smarm, maybe? Fits in five letters, but there might be a better option. I'm not sure. We'll leave it for now. French uh, preposition, avec, would mean, which means with in French. So just grammatically, that's a preposition. LSAT section, question mark. So the question mark, I think, means we're not referring to a section of the test, but rather a section of the uh, acronym LSAT. Uh, the T of which stands for uh, test, presumably. I think this is the law school admit, admissions test. And then to remove surgically is to is to to remove surgically is to dissect. Why am I not thinking? Why am I not immediately seeing what this is? Uh, that's weird. Anyway, <laughs> ready in a way. What about this one? Sounds of reliefs are size. Calculation that might include calculus for short. Right, so here we go. It doesn't use calculus in order to make this calculation, but rather it might include one's grade from a calculus course. So GPA grade point average, which is your, you know, sort of reflects your performance in school. Uh, month when Paul Revere, Paul Revere wrote, oh, I don't remember this. Um, March or April? It's got to be one of those. Ready in a way. Roll in a Vita. Well, it won't be Ava Perone, presumably, because she's being already referred to in the clue. Vita is her nickname. So let's see. Who else would it be? Acts exceedingly friendly, campus buildings, dorms maybe? Don't know if that's right. Online retailer headquartered in Brooklyn. Etsy maybe? Um, just thinking, it seems plausible that it would be. I don't know that this is right. View from the Trans-Siberian Railway. Oh, the Urals probably. I don't think this is dorms. There we go. Or all mountains. Uh, and then like some parsley and kale, curly parsley or curly kale, you can get both of those, fixes a border in a way, so hems a dress perhaps. You fix the, the, the border in a way. And they, it's, it, she says in a way here because we don't usually refer to that as a border, but it, in a way it is. It's a border of the article of clothing. Campus buildings. Oh, halls. There we go. Oh, Che uh, Guevara, Roll and Evita. There we go. So, oh, oozes charm, not oozes smarm. Okay. It, uh, it rhymes, but my first guess was wrong. But fortunately, I didn't put it in, so I didn't throw myself off. If one acts exceedingly friendly, one oozes charm. There we go. Red, White, and Blank, 2005 heavy metal album. Not familiar with this album, but is it Crew? Is Maybe it's a Motley Crew album, Red, White, and Crew. Seems very plausible. Term largely, largely replaced by Zoom video chat, right? We do sort of... Just say, we'll have a Zoom call now rather than a, a video chat or, or a Zoom, I suppose. Okay, ready in a way. I don't know what, dice is in vegetables or something? I don't know why I can't see what that is. Month when Paul Revere, Paul, Paul Revere Road is still probably March or April, probably April based on the uh, the crosses here.
ready in a way. I, do I, I might have something wrong, I don't know. Lower, sadden, to lower someone's mood, to sadden them, maybe? Or sadder, perhaps. I think that, I think that's better. I'm feeling, I'm lower, I'm sadder, that's, that's better. What about this? Casualty of the 1917 revolution. Well, the czar, there we go. So that, that confirms that Russian revolution. People who worshipped the fertility god Pachamama, the Inca. There we go. I have a fertility goddess, I should say. Um, I have encountered that name before. Um, I couldn't tell you very much about that particular deity, but there we go. I'm confident that's correct. Uh, oh, right. Octavius. What did I say? Octavian? I think maybe erroneously. I can't remember if that's what I said. Uh, but there we go. Octavius is the answer here. Tex-Mex condiment, some sort of sauce. Um, pico sauce, like pico de gallo? I'm not sure. I don't really know that I would call that pico sauce. No problem at all. I don't mind. So, do oh, do I didn't read this clue. So a dojo service is a mat. Right, okay. So like a martial arts dojo. And then like the Gwyn, uh, Gwyndedeg and Pauiseg dialects. That's those... Those are some Welsh looking words. So I think that is, uh, those will be dialects of the Welsh language. There we go. And match. Mm, not sure. Gouda alternative. So Gouda cheese. Edom could be an alternative. Alternative. Those are both Dutch cheeses, I believe. So that would make sense as alternatives. Bananas could be loco. You could refer to someone as bananas loco if they're acting sort of irrationally. Lock lips to a Liverpudlian would be too snog. So Liverpudlian is someone from Liverpool. And so as is so often the case in New York Times crossword clues, uh, mentioning a location in this way is just a way to refer to a particular sort of language or dialect or, you know, sort of speech convention. And in this case, someone from Liverpool would be British and to kiss someone, to make out with someone would be to snog them. So there we go. Tex-Mex condiment taco sauce, right? Okay. I don't really know what taco sauce is, but uh, I guess you'd put it on your taco. All right. Match. Is it like hot sauce, I guess? Match wits. Oh, I see. If you go up against someone, you match wits. And then air quality index factor would be smog. There we go. All right. Ready in a way. Oh, oh, resect and ripe. There we go. Okay. Uh, don't know why that didn't come to mind earlier, but there we go. Uh, so ready as in fruit. If fruit is ready in a way, for instance, it could be ripe. And there we go. That was the Friday puzzle. A nice, punny, slightly misdirecting puzzle. Very uh, characteristic of its constructor. And um, themeless, of course, as we would expect on a Friday. So some very nice clues in here. Tacky item in a kindergarten classroom. I like these when they're, um, I like, particularly enjoy these when they're, when they don't have the question mark, the pun indicator, um, and uh, pie accompaniment. I don't know why this one necessarily even needs it. Maybe because a accompaniment is being really sort of tortured in its, in its meaning. But pie accompaniment isn't really an existing phrase that, that you would need to, that you'd ordinarily need to accompany with a, uh, a question mark, I don't think. Um, but anyway, some some very nice clues and uh, some interesting knowledge, like these these Welsh dialects, for instance. Um, yeah, uh, the fertility goddess Pacamama, all sorts of interesting little bits of knowledge in here. Oh, who was this? This was Miranda Otto. Okay, I don't, or Otto Miranda. I assume it's Miranda Otto. I um, I just I simply don't don't re recognize this name, unfortunately. But I was just. Figured I should go back and, and look at it since it was finally filled in for good. Uh, anyway, that was the Friday crossword. Hope you enjoyed it. And now I will move on to a few clues from not yesterday's puzzle, but the puzzle from the day before, um, because that was the most recent relevant one here. So uh, Chasmart Designs points out Tabitha King, with whom I was unfamiliar, is an accomplished writer and also the wife of Stephen King. So there we go. All right, now I know. Uh, Stephen uh, Giblin uh, points out, Adesti Fidelis is the Latin title of O Come All Ye Faithful. So there you go. I, I remembered it was a Christmas carol, but I, I couldn't remember what it was. And there we have it. 
And then finally, John Mayhew points out the Ceratopsians at 12 down are very much thematic. So I think I'd mentioned, no, this is relevant to the, to the theme in some way. Um, a huge family whose most famous member, Triceratops, was wiped out with Tyrannosaurus at the end of the Crustaceous. It is surprising to think that Allosaurus and Stegosaurus are more distant in time for Tyrannosaurus than Tyrannosaurus is for us. That is indeed absolutely mind-boggling. <laughs> You consider how long this planet has existed before human beings showed up on it. it is that I mean that is that is beyond <laughs> astonishing. Uh, but anyway, thank you for those uh, fascinating facts and uh, extra bits of context. And that's that for the Friday puzzle and the Friday video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back tomorrow with the Saturday crossword, another a second of two themeless puzzles for the week. So do join me. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Friday. Take care. Mm-hmm.